Hi, Dr. Gulani. So, once again, with another post op patient of mine, I'm Frank Shankyu. I do these impromptu things to share with the colleagues. Tomorrow, again, I'm doing a number of webinars sharing all these concepts, and I'd love to encourage doctors to not give up on, give up on keratoconus patients like you. For doctors who are watching, another keratoconus patient with extremely high keratometry, very high regular astigmatism, posterior polar cataract, and uh, vision. How would you describe, Frank? Vision is, is could not see a um, pre-op meaning pre before surgery. Yeah, pre-op. Pre my, my vision was was very poor for sure. cataracts. Uh, sure. You said a polar polar cataracts, and the astigmatism was very bad in in my left eye. Yes. yes. And keratoconus in both eyes. And again, the concept as I share with you all saying, think outside the cone. Don't get afraid of the how bad it is. You got to go and attack. So those with high keratometry and keratoconus, high regular astigmatism, left eye more than right eye, along with posterior polar cataract, with nuclear, of course, with age, how we planned his surgery and got into 2020 distance and near without glasses in both eyes. The concept again is this cone is still there. But no need for hard contact lenses or you know cross-linking or transplants unless indicated. That's the whole point. Every technology is important, but don't just do it blindly and put the patient in a situation of difficulty for the rest of their life. So if you see his topography here, you can see how irregular and how high the astigmatism is. Topographically goes up to nine diopters and cheetah posterior astigmatism, uncorrectable by contact lenses and glasses and having a polar cataract. And here's the best part. This is his post-op topography. So despite the post-op still showing you a very high irregular astigmatism, patients 2020. How do you explain that? That's the point I'm going to share with you guys in the webinar. That's the point I've been talking about all the time. Topography doesn't relate to vision. It's a great diagnostic tool. Refraction relates to vision. So despite this post-op cornea looking like this, why is the gentleman seeing? And as everything I do, I let my patients describe their outcomes. Because I do not believe in graphs and scattergrams, which can be changed or fudged. Real patients, real time, extremely demanding. So Frank, in your few words, please, for doctors who are watching, how is your vision today? My vision is great today, Dr. Galani. As you know, um, I looked at several surgeons uh, in, in the area where I'm from. And uh, because of the conditions that I had, they were not quite confident that we'd be able to bring me uh, to the point that, that you have. And uh, that's what I was happy to find you on the internet. After looking at the reviews of your patients and reading some of your papers, I became very confident that uh, you were very uh, high about dealing with people with my condition. And uh, I appreciate everything that you've done. Uh, the surgery went very well, both eyes. I'm seeing without glasses and I couldn't be happier. Frank, again, an honor, honor is a privilege. I call this with all of you and your trust to me. And even in COVID times, I'm so, such a pleasure. Sorry, I can't let you <laughs> hug and do so, but far fist bumps. But Frank, really, truly uh, an honor. Every time I see all, all my patients in our institute, I don't know how much more to record for doctors that I share with, but hope you guys uh, get energized again. That keratoconus patient don't deserve just cross-linking and putting into a hard contact and delaying a transplant. That's uh, dinosaur level of uh, goals. Patients need to be freed of glasses and contacts and no matter how bad the cone is, how bad the cornea looks even post-op, vision is the only mark of success and according to me, I've always said this to you guys, right? A real patient on camera is the only way to document success, the highest level of integrity and accountability. Right, Frank? That's right. Thank you. Boom! Love it! <laughs>